This month's mission intention goes hand in hand with our general intention. Both intentions have to do with reconciliation. Pope Benedict asks us to pray that through the witness of the faithful, the church may be the seed and soil of a humanity that is reconciled to be God's one true family on earth. Let's look at the last part of that prayer first. According to the book of Genesis, God created humanity in his own image and likeness. So, every human being is made in God's image and is a reflection of God and therefore has great dignity. There's only one creator, one God, who made humanity to be one family. We are all God's children, so dear to him that he sent his own son to unite himself to our human nature, to live our life, and to die a terrible death on a cross in order to save us from sin and death. Here's something that the Catechism of the Catholic Church says, quoting a council from the early church, the year 853. There is not, never has been, and never will be a single human being for whom Christ did not suffer. You see, Jesus suffered and died for everyone, no exceptions. And so all people must be very precious to God, very precious because they're made so by the precious blood of Jesus that was shed for them. This is God's will and desire that humanity be one family. But it's obvious that we're not one family. We're divided and in conflict and we desperately need reconciliation. Even Christians, the followers of the Prince of Peace, are divided and in conflict and in need of reconciliation. And this is why Pope Benedict asks us to pray in the first part of his intention this month that the faithful may give good witness so that the church may be both seed and soil for a reconciled humanity. How can the world believe that reconciliation and peace are possible when the followers of Jesus are so divided? The witness of Christians is, in general, a counter witness to the gospel of peace, a witness that leads people to despair of the possibility of peace. In fact, the bishops at the Second Vatican Council, in the document Gaudium et Spes, even said that one of the reasons for atheism in the world is the bad witness of Christians. Here's what they wrote. Believers can have more than a little to do with the birth of atheism. To the extent that they neglect their own training in the faith, or teach erroneous doctrine, or are deficient in their religious, moral, or social life, they must be said to conceal rather than reveal the authentic face of God and religion. This quote gives us an idea about why this intention that the Holy Father has given us is a mission intention. The church is called to sow the seed of the gospel, but the church also has to prepare the soil so that the seed will be well received. If the members of the church, because of their divisions, conflicts, and scandalous behavior, are not good soil, if they are instead rocky soil or filled with weeds and thorns, then the soil of the world will not be receptive to the seed of the gospel. The seed will be rejected by the world because as the world looks at the soil of the church, it sees the genuine seed of Jesus' message also being rejected, not being lived with authenticity. Behind this month's mission intention of Pope Benedict is a call to conversion, a call to give faithful and not unfaithful witness. We pray, as Jesus prayed at the Last Supper, that we may be one as he and the Father are one, so that the world will believe that Jesus was sent by God the Father and turn and be saved.